Hi, Merlin Dean with SmartphoneNirvana.com. We're going to go over GPS, maps, and traffic. You can see the icon right there. It looks like a freeway sign. Go ahead and tap on that. We're going to bring up the map. And you're going to have on the bottom right-hand side, you're going to see it looks like the peeling back of a page. You see right there, I'm going to try to adjust the iPhone 4 camera that I'm shooting this with. There we go. Now, as you peel that back, touch on that, you're going to see hide traffic or show traffic. Now, I have traffic already on there. So now it's going to hide it. You're going to see it say show traffic. So when you hit show traffic, you see the traffic comes up. And I'm in Los Angeles, so as I'm zooming this out, you can get a good idea what the Los Angeles traffic scene is all like, which is pretty much a nightmare most of the time. Green is good, yellow is slow, red is bad. So let's say you're double tapping here, you happen to have to go to an area, let's say downtown LA area where it's red, you can see where to get off the freeway in many instances just by zooming in. And the beautiful thing about the iPhone is it then tells you what the street traffic is like. So it's not just freeway traffic. If you get around here, it'll tell you how to maybe get to an area with a shortcut. Okay, so keep that in mind. So as I'm zooming that out, you can also see the pulsating blue light. That's the GPS, and that's on the bottom left-hand corner here. When you tap on that, it'll zoom in to the blue, and it'll show you exactly where you are in case you're lost. A way to find a place is by tapping in the window up here. Go ahead and tap on that. It brings up the keyboard. I'm going to put in AT&T. Let's say you want to find the local AT&T store. You tap that out. It'll drop a pin. And then on the left-hand side, you'll see a head and shoulders icon, and then you're going to see a blue bulb right there. Tap on the head and shoulders icon. It's really awesome. You've got this street view here. And as you put your finger in there and turn it, you get a 360-degree view of wherever it is you want to look at. And as you hit the arrow here, you're literally going down the street. And as it resets, you can look each way on each side of the street, and then you can see it changes. So that's the shopping center that the AT&T store is at. And you can take a walk down the street in London, Paris, anywhere you want to go. Tap back on the map. And then on the right-hand side here, hit that little blue dot, and that's going to give you more pertinent information about the business. It tells you the phone number, tells you the location, tells you the website, a lot of great stuff. Also on the bottom, if you look where it says directions to here, directions from here, go ahead and tap directions to here. What it'll do is it's going to find where your current location is, it's going to find where it is you want to go, in this case Culver City, and on the bottom right hand center right here, hit route. And it's going to do a point A to point B thing for you. So you can see point A up here tells me which freeways to take all the way down to where I want to end up. So I go ahead and do that by tapping start right up here on the upper right hand corner. And it tells me it's 16 miles, 28 minutes with traffic. Once I hit start, it takes me on a zoom in step by step approach, turn by turn. It doesn't talk to me, but it shows me how to get there. And as you're zooming in, if you need a little bit more help, Bring up the information by tapping the bulb and then peel this back and go to your satellite down here. See where it says satellite. And from there, you'll not only get a street view from the left icon, but you can get your satellite view straight from space. So it'll give you an idea of what to look for. That's just the tip of the iceberg on this fantastic function for the iPhone. So that's maps and traffic. Thank you so much for checking out SmartphoneNirvana.com.